Hi everyone. Welcome to DevOps training. This is Shadab Akhtar. You are watching how to install Docker on AWS EC2 Amazon Linux virtual machine. In this session, I want to discuss how to install Docker Compose on AWS EC2 virtual machine. Let's see. I have documents. These documents I want to keep in description. In this video description, you can double check. So now you can see here is a document to install and configure of Docker Compose on a top of Amazon Linux. This is installation and configuration Docker Compose. First of all, you need to run this command to download the current stable release Docker Compose. This is the command. You have to run this command on the top of virtual machine. So you are going to download the current stable release of Docker Compose. And after that, you have to give or apply execution permission to the binary. You can see this is ch mode. Ch mode for change mode or change permission. You, you can use a sudo because uh, you required a root permission to do this kind of stuffs. And we are giving here execute permission. And here is a note. If the command docker compose fails after installation, check your path. You can also create a symbolic link with USR bin directory or any other directory in your path. For example, sudo ln hyphen s and this is the this is a path user local bin docker compose and then you can test so these all description i want to keep in uh, you know videos a uh, description you can double check now i want to move forward to aws in aws i want to launch a new virtual machine i got to click on launch instance in launch instance, I want to select Amazon Linux. I got to click on select. And then I want to go ahead with T2 micro instance. I'm going to click on configure instance detail and then uh, review and launch directly. I want to go for this option. And I want to select my existing key pair and launch instances. I want to connect with this virtual machine. I got to click on this ID. Okay, so let me give here a tag name for this virtual machine. This is for Docker Compose virtual machine. And I want to save this information. I want to connect with this virtual machine. Here is public IPv4 IP address. You can connect via SSH if you are a Mac user or Linux user or you are going to use git bash in your windows. In my case, I want to use IP address and I want to connect with partition. And here I'm going to go ahead with EC2 hyphen user. This is the username available in Linux. And this is public IP address. I'm going to click on plus sign, then authentication, allow agent forwarding, appearance, and then change. I would go ahead with 12 size, then I'm going to click on OK, then open. I'm going to click on accept. Now I'm successfully connected with this virtual machine. In this virtual machine, first of all, I want to show you a release of this operating system. I would give here a clear command for clear screen. And then cat is used to show the content inside a file. And here I want to go ahead with etc directory. This directory comes under Linux file system. OS hyphen release. Or you can give OS hyphen release or you can give system hyphen release. System hyphen release. So I'm working with Amazon Linux release too. And I'm going to install and configure Docker Compose in this Linux virtual machine. I would go ahead with my docs or documentation. First of all, I want to run this command to download a stable version. I just want to copy and paste here. 
and I want to press enter. It will take a couple of seconds to be in download. And then I want to go ahead with apply executable permission to the binary. And I want to run this ch mode command for execute permission. I'm just going to copy and paste. And now I want to go for next command. I want to run this command. I just want to copy and then paste this command on my virtual machine. And let me go ahead with test the installation. I want to double check Docker version. I just want to copy and paste here. Now you can see I'm successfully installed Docker Compose on a top of my Amazon Linux. So you can see here Docker Compose version 1.29.2 and build here. So it is enough for my side for today. Thanks to listen to me and please subscribe my channel to get notifications. Thanks to listen to me. Bye. Take care.